You would have fun. Your hand was flying then. So, yeah. Hey, um, thank you for that, Phil. Um, this question is for both of you, actually. So, uh, I really like the words that have been expressed by this film, but one thing that I can't, or that sad, saddens me, is uh, how hard it is to get film funded. And I just want you guys, I'm like, is there a way for such beautiful films that, real films, that can be supported properly, you know, and be seen by people properly? <laughs> Well, the question, man. Like, um, uh, I'll give you a bit of a background with this. So, um, this is funded eighty-five percent by myself through commercials and shit, man. So, like, that's how this was. It was like grinding, and then I won't be, and I won't bore you with the details when we were out there about this before we started shooting. I was, there was a third party between me and some, uh, a big invoice I was happy for a job <laughs> through my production company. Then uh, that, that got, they, their relationship fell apart. And so I didn't see that money. So I, I suddenly lost half my budget. And I was like, oh, we're already here. You know? And so I had to fight that all the way through. So what I'll say is like, it's, it's, it, it might all feel virtually impossible, but there's always a way. And it's like, and I'm not talking just about the money. I'm talking about there's always a way to make a film. And in all honesty, I think that if that fell through, uh, when I was in the UK, I would have gone, and I would have been like, right, there's another way, and I would have ended up, I would have had virtually nothing, to be honest, to make the film, and I would have approached it completely differently. I was just ready to make a film, and in that case, I always had a backup plan in my head. Was like, I know who I'd work with in the UK. We'll film ourselves with the artists that I know that I love, that like close friends. Building that network of people you can trust that also want to make a film critical, because then you just you will find a way to make it, and then I think you have to apply that to the cast in your vicinity as well. And then, like, I have a friend that's making a film out in New York, super cool guy, really young. He had a short film with the world um, at BFI, and he, um, he used to, he, he was a coin runner for the gold shop, gold coin, like the coin shops in New York and Chinatown. Super cool dude. I don't want to give too much away of that. Mm -hmm. I don't know that, but he's so cool. And he's like, I'm just going to make it. I'm like, he, we had a call because he wouldn't know how I made it. And he's like, he's got no money. I'm like, He's just going to find a way to make it with no money. And you can do that too. And it's, it's making sure everyone's invested. So don't feel disheartened by that. Because honestly, I was out there and everything fell apart. And I, I had to find a way. I was like phoning people up, grinding, trying to find cash like, day to day whilst rewriting scenes and like, you know, directing people in the day. And, you know, it was tough. It's never going to be easy, but there's always a way. And I think it starts with the writing, it starts with loving the script, and then you like, and find a way to do it. Yeah. I think it's just clear that you know he is an, an absolute inspiration because I find that there is really nobody making a film of this quality with no resources from Film Four, BBC Films, or the BFI, and I, I find that it's it's a shame that um, you have to go through that then to make the film. But I think it's a testament of his craft and his work. And I think that this film is a testament to your to your work, man. And, um, and I think that it's an inspiration for a lot of young directors. You, you can see that it is possible to make a film like this. Um, it's easier said than done. Yeah. And I just feel that um, I've just got sort of one last question for you before we have to go. But um, I just want to say that it's important that we all talk about this film. I know that you know. Hopefully, you love the film. You know, when you leave here, go on Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn. You know, uh, I just sort of write about the film. I think we don't want the film to live and die in this space. This is a very powerful space because we've experienced this film, we've been moved by this film, but we need to get the word out about this film. And I feel that what, what happens is we're all inspired here, great film, bro, blah, blah, blah. but we leave here and we don't talk about the film. Films like this that does not have any funding from the BFI, BBC Films, Film 4, no major funders, we want to spread the word about the incredible power of this film. And I think it's tough. I'm going to be checking out your Instagrams, Twitters. <laughs> you guys left your name at the door, so don't worry. I, you know, I'm, not, I'm not kidding, by the way. So. Um, one last question before we leave. Um, and it's a very simple question, Josh. Um, what does this film mean to you? 
Pain and torture. No, uh, it's honestly like I think it's more like a honest uh, kind of emotion towards a place that I love. That sounds really basic, but I'm just trying to like break it down to something that is really like truthful to me. And I think it's like those people are lovely. They're my friends, and the place is incredible. And actually, it's like they're the underdog of Southeast Asia. Like, just fucking go to Lao and spend money there. <laughs> like, it's like a cool place. And um, just before I say goodbye, like, um, if anyone wants to reach out to me, like, I'm always going to be like, if you ever have any questions on nightmare finance crap with films, like I'm used to it. So feel free to reach out. <laughs> and use his free knowledge because he's giving you guys gems for free. Um, so I just want us to give Josh a massive round. Of I would not because it's not about me, bro. No, we're not quite about it. But guys, tweet about this film, write about it, tell your friends and family, uh, because we need to get the word out. So thank you so much for coming down and get them safe. Thank, thank you, everybody. Appreciate it.